I'm building a custom sized X carve and I need the Y axis to be 500 millimeters long. So I started with the 1000 millimeter X carve kit and I effectively cut the two Y axis maker slides in half. Here I'm measuring and marking a 500 millimeter point along the maker slides. I'm cutting the maker slides on a standard miter saw using a common wood blade. Notice that I'm cutting them together to ensure they're the same length. And here I'm deburring the cut ends with a simple file. I only had to deburr one end of each maker slide because the other end was cut and smoothed by the factory. Here I am tapping the bolt holes using a drill tap, Makita electric drill, and some cutting oil. It all comes together here with a final assembly of the Y-axis. I'm mounting the end plates, which is all standard per the Inventables instructions. When doing this yourself, take care not to over-tighten the screws between the maker slides and the end plates. While assembling this, I actually over-tighten the screws and I strip the holes. I could have drilled out the holes larger and retapped them with a larger tap requiring larger screws, but I decided instead to buy new maker slides. In fact, I realized that I could buy 500 millimeter maker slides and not have to cut or tap them, and they'd be a perfect fit. I contacted Inventables wanting to buy two 500 millimeter maker slides pre drilled and tapped, but since they didn't sell those individually, after some discussions, they actually gave them to me for free. In conclusion, I now have a 1000mm by 500mm X-carve, which fits on my workbench perfectly. I want to give a special thank you to Inventables for taking care of me and far exceeding my expectations for customer service. Thanks guys, you rock.